sons whom he did would suffer the same experience when they became fathers. On the 17th of December 2002, Council for Justice staged their first direct, a um, direct action demonstration on 200 fathers, um, 200 father Christmases stormed the lobby of the Lord Chancellor's apartment. Um, this is the yeah. yeah, this is the end of and Blues. Um, nearly one in three children now live without a father in the UK. That's nearly four million fatherless children. Um, every day, 200 children lo will lose contact with their father and only fa and, and other family members in secret family thoughts. Uh, I personally believe, from personal knowledge and experience, that a father figure is extremely necessary in a child's life. And um, a child learns so much from their father, as well as picking up traits and being shown what's acceptable and not, not acceptable through discipline. A survey published in Father Mag showed how 85% of youths in prison grew up without father. Um, this shows a direct link with, um, with not having a father figure in a child's life and crime. A father figure is an important, extremely important thing in a child's life. Um, as you can see on the PowerPoint we stand, Matt O'Connor says, we stand for the human rights of mothers, fathers and children. Um, so it's not just fathers, it's grandparents and mothers as well. Um, these are the objectives set by Fathers for Justice. There's nine of them. I should have those. Um, campaign methods and strategies. On the 17th of December 2002, Fathers for Justice staged their first direct action demonstration. Um, the group has since attracted a lot of media attention and has inspired similar groups in other countries, from Spider Man, Spider -Man at Tower Bridge to Batman at Buckingham Palace and the flower bombing of the Prime Minister in the Char Chamber of the House of Commons. The um, campaign for truth, justice, and equality in, father, in family law has captured the public imagination, catapulting issues surrounding family law to the top of the political agenda, and inspiring thousands of um, disenfranchised parents and grandparents alike to campaign for equal parenting rights. Uh, with the departure of Tony Blair as Prime Minister, Fathers, Ju uh, Fathers for Justice switched from direct action to political um, dialogue between June 2008 and to May 2011. The, organized, um, the organization negotiated in good faith with the Conservative Party, securing 10 written document commitments to reform family law. In June 2011, uh, the Prime Minister David Cameron broke those commitments and on Father's Day, he launched an unprecedented attack on fathers. However, this switch of method um, to um, political dialogue um, didn't last. Didn't last. And days later, on the tenth anniversary of the, um, of the forming of his Fathers for Justice, O'Connor staged an eight-day hunger strike outside the Prime Minister's home. In, sept in September 2011, Fathers for Justice staged their second protest at Buckingham Palace. And fundraising. <coughs> uh, Fathers for Justice rely entirely on donations to fund the website, Adventine, production of reports, research, campaigns, and protests. Um, donations can be made on www.fathersforjustice.org. Um, Fathers for Justice accepts no money from solicitors, government, or any other organisations which might compromise, compromise the integrity of their campaign. Um, support. Um, Fathers for Justice is an outsider pressure group. There's obviously this obviously, uh, obviously um, their support obviously comes from single fathers and grandparents mainly. In terms of media support, Fathers for Justice has 36,000 Facebook likes and um, Facebook likes on likes on Facebook and one million to, uh, sorry, 36,000 Facebook likes and 12,900 followers on Twitter. In comparison to major pressure groups such as 
Greenpeace, which have 317,000 likes on Facebook and 1,245,500 followers on Twitter. And this is very small amount of support. Um, no, high pro no high profile members seem to be apparent. Evidence support, um, evidence to support why this is, is the path to justice is, has been surrounded with bad press. In 2004, two members threw purple dye, as you can see, um, over Tony Blair. In 2006, the group was dis um, briefly disbanded following allegations that, the pe um, that people linked to the group plotted to kidnap Tony Blair's youngest son, Leo. Um, from the headlines surrounding these, these stories, it can be understood why there is no high profile supporters. Um, successes. Channel 4 um, did a report on Fathers for Justice in 2013, asking the question have they actually had any success? Um, the evidence is there to suggest that they have in fact had success. Um, have in fact had success. Um, access rights for separated fathers has improved hugely in the last decade, with one, one major change being the um, introduction of new shared parenting laws introduced last November. And the legislation states that judgments, judges must ensure fathers are given the legal right to spend time to develop a meaningful relationship with their sons or daughters, and provided the children's, children's child's well-being is not jeopardised by such a relationship. And with Fathers for Justice only being around since 1998, their existence could be argued to be valued to the new legislations. Uh, members of the press group that they are often forced to take direction um, say that they are often forced to take direct, um, direct action out of desperation. Um, questions can be asked whether the fathers should actually be allowed access rights to their children.